welcome to the Hot House podcast about careers in the creative media industry. Hello, how are you? Hi, Grant. Hi. How are you? Uh, how long have you been studying at NWRC? This would be my third year now, and I'm doing the UAL Level 3 Art and Design course and the Digital Photography Skills course on the side as well. And now here I am doing the Creative Media Film and TV course. Yeah, first year here at NWRC. I'm hoping they maybe stay on for my second year doing HND. So first year here doing HNC. Okay. Uh, what career are you looking to pursue? Looking to do something in camera work, definitely. Uh, maybe something for BBC or maybe just follow my own, uh, what's it called? Oh. Like when you run your own business. Uh, anyway, yeah, oh, running my own business. Entrepreneur yeah, or something. entrepreneur. That's it. I uh, love to do something in photography, whether it's just owning my own business or just getting into a photography business and just going to different events, photography, uh, not photography, uh, doing photography on either just for cons or weddings or stuff like that. Yep. Uh, why are you interested in pursuing this career? Uh, because it's just, it's, I like, as a... Uh, one said, I like framing it as a comic, like I like framing these stuff as comic books, like stills, like just being able to stage and be the one to decide the lighting, the camera work and what framing goes into it and how the poses are done. That's what I love about it. Yeah, I think for me it was definitely just watching films that like made me want to go develop my own skills and in the career itself. Uh, yeah, there's lots of films to choose from, but I don't have any standards for, well, I don't think I have any standards for what made me, like, immediately want to dive into film. Okay. Uh, has the course you're studying changed your mind on this? Uh, no, I think it's, like, further made me want to do it myself. Like, I just love everything about it, uh, especially cameras. Uh, yeah, the course made me want to do it much more. Like, last year I was kind of skeptical about doing it, like, oh, I don't think I know what and how to do it, but coming here learn me so much more like small businesses I can like join in, how I can start my own, how I can just do whatever I want with it. I think they agree with you, just it's made it push me want to do it even more because of just being able to build up my work and being able to work on stuff I'm actually passionate about and work with equipment that I never thought I could ever work with ever in my life. Uh, have you always wanted to go into these careers? Uh, I haven't. <laughs> I only started kind of wanting to do it in GCSE. I think before that I wanted to do something silly like a helicopter pilot, which is completely different than doing any of this. But yeah, like I've seen some short films, them being created, I didn't know I could make short films. I thought, oh, you must only be able to make big budget high level films, which are obviously hard to do. But then I realized most directors start off from small short films. So then when I seen that, I went like, oh, well, I may as well do that myself, and then that kind of started my interest in it and made me want to go do it myself. Uh, definitely not, because first year of my art course I wanted to be a comic book artist, just it's always what I've had my heart set on, and then after being able to use photography as my final major for my first year, it kind of changed my perspective as it's just something I fell in love with doing, and, it, and now that I'm doing this course, it's obviously broaden my horizons on what to do with it. Okay, uh, so what are some of your favourite films? Favourite films, I'm always stuck, always tied between Fight Club and Seven. Seven, great detective film, but Seven Deadly Sons and then Two Detectives, Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, going to try and solve who's doing these murders in the style of Seven Deadly Sons. And then Fight Club, it's a great movie, I can't really describe it without spoiling it, but it's so good, I love it. It's like great, it's kind of psychological thriller maybe but it's great both directed by David Venture I think he might be one of my favorite directors but I have not seen that many films to be able to say that <laughs> but oh, three that I always get stuck on is between the Batman Scott Pilgrim and a guilty pleasure is Deadpool and because the Batman to start off with is just a great detective film regardless if you like superheroes or not it is a great murder mystery on just trying to figure out these entire clues and 
I love how beautifully it's shot with a lot of the red tent and making Gotham its own character in itself. But with Scott Pilgrim, I love how it's just framed like a comic book. It is just done like a graphic novel, and especially with the actors, like I'm pretty sure Edgar Wright told them not to blink in a lot of the shots just to get that comic book feel. And well, Deadpool's just a guilty pleasure because it's Ryan Reynolds. I think there's parts in Scott Pilgrim as well where like it comes up like Poe and stuff, right? Yeah, like comic books. Poe and especially there's a, like a lot of frames where I think there's one where Scott's just walking by and he's overthinking about the evil X's, but yeah. in the background there's seven X's, like yeah. proper X, like X signs. <laughs> as well, when he's like going to take a pee, there's like the pee meter on yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah. Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy. Oh yeah. Like special. Is it special? The limit. Yeah, limit break. Limit break. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going for. Uh, has this course changed the way you view films? Uh, it's changed how I view them. Yeah, but like not how much I enjoy them. I still love them so much, but uh, it definitely like made me when watching a film, I kind of realize how much work went into it. I still enjoy them nonetheless, but it kind of makes me see more like more <laughs> more behind the scenes. Like, uh, you had to do so much more camera work for this, or so much planning must have went into this or so much time went into the CGI like I love practical effects more than CGI though like um, Freddy Krueger and Nightmare on Elm Street I think the director wanted them to look like pizza that's his way his like, face is all kind of bulgy and like melted pizza well not melted pizza che melted cheese on pizza <laughs> uh, I think it's for me it's just a lot more I can pick up a lot of more stuff now because Back in the day, I would have just like watched it for just the action, but now I'm able to pick up a lot of the visual effects and a lot of the storytelling moments as well, just to see how that actually works with the pacing. And it just made me fall in love and want to go to the cinema even more. Yeah, no, I'm the same. <laughs> <laughs> like watching films now that I watched back then, I kind of like, oh, they were like hinting towards this, like, yeah. oh, this is like foreshadowing on all that. I did yeah. not realize that like the first time I was watching films when I was younger, but now when I yeah. go back and watch them, I like get a lot more jokes, but this might just be because I matured a bit, but I think it's also the foreshadowing, like, because now I'm working on films, I realize like, oh, they had to plan this ahead. Yeah, you're able to pick up a lot of the plot points as well and see yeah. where it's going to go. Okay. Uh, would you recommend this course to other people? Oh yeah, fully. I would like recommend it even if they weren't fully interested in film, because it's definitely a great way to like, get interested and know more about it. Like, as I said before, I like did not know how many opportunities there were here locally that I could like just go and start my own or even join someone else's. Or like even if someone needed someone, I could like, oh, volunteer for it for free even. I would definitely recommend it even heavily in it because it's a good way to build up your portfolio of making your own short films, podcasts, documentaries, and even getting your photography done out there as well, because it's a good way to get a stepping stone into a career point, and it's definitely going to help you get further in the, a career you want to get into. Yeah, because even if you started your own business, you yeah. can like go and like, oh, well, I also done this as well, yeah. and I'm also currently doing this course. Like, yeah. it's a great way just to yeah. show what you can do. And it also the website it also gathers up all the stuff you've done, so it's just an easy yeah. way of showing your portfolio to future employers yeah, as well. Yeah, because you have like a whole list of the coursework and stuff you worked on. Yeah. It also gives you, as you said, like so much more opportunities working with different types of camera and editing that you might never have thought you would got yeah. to use. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you for coming on to the podcast. Yeah, of course, yeah. no problem. No problem.